हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक थ्री ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड न्यूट्रिशन इन इंडिया एंड अराउंड द वर्ल्ड देर आर मेनी मिसकनसेप्शन रिगार्डिंग द डाइटिंग सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज द पिटफॉल्स ऑफ डाइटिंग नाउ मेनी पीपल्स uses various techniques for weight loss such as they take dieting pills they start fasting reduce the calorie consumptions and does the exercises these are certain kinds of things the people does now let us mention some of the pitfalls of the dieting the first pitfall is that eating too little when the people are dieting they just take 1500 to 1800 calories per day but it is not sufficient to meet the daily requirements of the body of an individual this result in the massive weight loss of that individual and also result in some of the health related problems when they are cutting their calories very low the second is more drinking than eating in order to reduce the calorie consumption many people start to drink more and more juices sodas tea coffees with sugar this contains carbohydrate in the form of sugars that will increase the ultimate weight of an individual next is skipping meals now many people are not taking the enough amount of breakfast lunch dinner or proper meals and reduce the metabolic rate of their body so the body start to conserve the energy again and again so when the next time they get the food the body result in taking more of the calories in the next meal the next is the intake of labeled food as many of the labeled food has been showing a tag like low fat low sugar low calories which may not be produced proper result for example drinking more tea with sugar free result in more intake of tea and hence it also consumes the greater amount of calories the last one is known as not performing exercises if you are not performing the exercises the level of metabolism drastically decreases and there is no burning of the calories so in this case if you are dieting also your dieting will not be effective anyway now let us move to the second topic which is the food intolerance now what does the food intolerance means is that for certain elements in our body there is intolerance which means intolerance of certain elements in some food that cannot be properly processed by our digestive system it is basically very common to have adverse reaction to certain chemicals or certain foods but in most cases it is an intolerant rather than we are talking about a true allergy although intolerance and allergy are different but they will have a similar symptoms and a food allergy is very more serious and it usually comes suddenly but in case of food intolerance it comes gradually so let us discuss what are the features of the food intolerance the first is it usually comes on gradually which means it will gradually increase or it will gradually comes whenever you eat certain kind of food for which you are intolerant the second is may only happen when you eat a lot of a particular food if you are eating certain kind of food very often then only your food intolerance will happen if you are intolerant to that food or that substance or that chemical the last is may only happen if you eat the food often if you are oftenly eating that food then only this kind of food intolerance will happen in your body now let us talk about some of the causes and the management of the food intolerance the first is the causes due to some of the absence of the activities of some enzymes which are responsible for the food back breakdown and there are also some of the innate sometimes which means they are from the inside the body related issues they are also related to some of the diet related and due to the illness prevailing in the person now let us talk about the management if we can change in our diet due to that 
the reaction can change and which can help us in tolerating the food or which can eradicate our food intolerance there are some of the therapies also like fructose intolerance therapy lactose intolerance therapy and histamine intolerance therapy which can also be applied to a person and these type of intolerance can be eradicated now let us move to one of the most interesting and most important topic which is about the myth about the food now in india and all over the world there are various different kinds of food myths which are prevailing what when and how often we eat the food is the question which is confusing many people people believe in this myth because these myths seems credible however now that we have moved to the advanced scientific knowledge we can easily dispel these myths the most common food related myths which are still prevailing in our society are the first is that that potatoes makes us fat the second is fat free products helps in reducing weight avoid egg because it increases the cholesterol level drink water while eating makes you fat don't consume milk immediately after eating fish it will have your white spots the next is starve yourself if you want to lose weight and the last one is the exercise makes you eat more and more these are some of the myths about the food now let us move to busting the myths with the help of scientific knowledge the first is let us take egg increases cholesterol level so always avoid them there is no doubt that the eggs are good source of healthy food an egg provides you various different kinds of nutrition it as per daily requirement of cholesterol in our body so if you take one egg daily there is no problem in controlling the cholesterol level increasing the amount will increase the cholesterol level the second is drinking while eating match makes you fat many of the persons think that it is a misconception that enzymes in our and the digestive juices in our body or in our stomach gets diluted with the help of this drinking water while eating which slow down our digestion and will lead to the excess amount of fat in the body so this is a myth there is no such kind of thing which can dilute your enzymes and digestive juices so you can easily drink the water while having your food so let us talk about some more myths and burst them the first is the myth which states that low fat or no fat which diet is more good as the body required fat for energy tissue repairs and to transport different kinds of vitamin like a d e k so we cannot just cut down the fat because fat is required for the body so we can lower the consumption of the fat but we cannot cut it down the second is a myth crash that crash dieting or fasting may lose weight it may be true for a short time but ultimately it always becomes an obstacle when you are doing a weight loss program losing over a long period of time burns your fat whereas if you are doing crash dieting or fasting it will only help to reduce fat but also helps to remove the lean muscle cells which you have the next is a myth which is food eaten late night is more fattening which means when you are eating the food late at night it will not be digested soon and all the fat will be absorbed by the body no it does not make any change to the body next is myth low fat milk has less calcium than full fat milk as skimmed milk and semi skimmed milk actually have more calcium because it is a watery calcium is always present in the watery part and always the fat is present in the creamy part so you can always use the skimmed or semi skimmed milk rather than going to the creamy part of the milk now what is the next myth is that vegetarian cannot build the muscles now vegetarian can build the muscles as meat eaters by getting their proteins from the vegetables such as if they start to eat cheese nuts and pulses they can easily get such kind of proteins and they can build their body the last myth is healthy food is expensive as you can say that the tinned food stored food packaged food is expensive whereas local and seasoned food is inexpensive it is a myth 
I hope you might have understood these topics very well. If not, I urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again. You can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books. We at Learn It are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities. If you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail, you can comment your questions down below in the comment section. If you like our work, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos, do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel. For more of such kind of updates, stay tuned to the channel, stay healthy, stay safe and fit. Bye bye.